Hi everyone, it's Donna here. I have finished my um, waterfall album. I didn't um, videotape it, I'm sorry. I'm going to show the finished product and the reason I didn't um, videotape it was because it went for like two hours or something so I sort of cut it out like 20 minutes into it and thought there's no way you guys are going to sit there for that long. Now you need to go to Arnie Vera Scrap and Craft or you need to go to facebook.com Crafty Vera and Friends to join in the challenge. The challenge is for me to make a waterfall album and to use as many photos as you can, okay? And I've decided to do uh, a waterfall album like this. This is my original one. Uh, I have a belly band on mine um, on here, but I didn't put it on my new one. Uh, and you'll see the reason in a moment. Um, the waterfall album goes like this, and um, I think hopefully you could understand what I was trying to um, show you in the tutorial. It was totally a mess, but I'll, I'll try to clean it up for you. Okay, now this is my one I've just completed. Okay, can you see it? Now I've used all the things from Arnie Vera's kit as much as I could and oh my gosh it is a gorgeous kit. You must really go and have a look at it, okay? So as you can see the difference between the two is quite significant, okay? Now I've got lots and lots of texture on here. Okay, I'm going to bring you up close. I have used some gesso, some clear gloss gel, I've used some modeling paste and I've used a lot of things um, from the kit. Um, now what I've also done is done a photo tutorial and I thought that might be better for you than me trying to create something that's going to take so long. Okay, can you see hopefully you can see that shine, it's getting a bit dark in here but it'd be nice if you could see that shine. Okay, so there we go. So there's some flower, oh, come out, come out, um, some flowers. This is from a, the Lo I Love You little um, embellishment. It was from an uh, earlier kit for Marnie Vera, um, as was the pearl drops here. Um, so, and these, this flower here, that's from an earlier Arnie Vera's kit. Now I'm going to put the link in with this so you'll be able to see it. Um, and go and find them because these are gorgeous. These ones here are in the kit and um, the May kit here So they are gorgeous, but um, this one here was an earlier kit and like I said, I'll put a link for that one This is lovely, isn't it? I thought so now we had a look I know I've done the spine as well. So you've got right follows it right through okay you open it up and there's the insides completed now I think it's quite nice I mean I want don't want it too um, overly um, busy it's quite busy as it is with these kind of pinks and that and I didn't realize how many pinks I use I was quite shocked that once I start to put it together how many pinks I actually use in my projects never ever thought I was a pink person um, there's my tags I finished um, and these are my favorite projects so far and just some jot it down and again I've I've just put some extra photos there okay can you see that now I've got I was gonna describe all the photos but look again it I just changed my mind um, like this photo here this one here for an example okay and I've got this here the big photo on the pocket was originally going to be a hot air balloon um, and then I was going to make it into a maypole. Well, look, I mucked up both cases, so that's what I come up with. But it's something that I love, and it's my very favourite thing that I've ever made. I mean, go figure, you know? Anyway, um, and when I tried to, and I've got, even got in here when I tried to take the photos, the photos was way too, way, way too big. Okay. Um, and um, I also thought. Um, the hardest thing I've found was letting go of what is what I consider my straight mind because I find it really hard to let go to be and, and that's this is where I struggle um, with mixed media 
because I find it struggling I struggle to let go of um, to create a mess it sounds strange but that's I really struggle with it yeah so but my word this year is achieve which is in my uh, clip art um, which I have right here I'm just going to show you um, getting off subject but uh, that's my clip art and my word in here is achieve okay and I've just made a little book to put all my little clip arts in okay now so for this year I'm hoping to achieve um, more mixed media okay but this has become a scrapbook which is what the main challenge is okay so the challenge is is to use as many photos as I can so I think I've used 22 photos in this album and um, it was to um, scrap something you love which I love crafting and this is what the kit's all about is crafting and I craft I scrapped all my favorite projects so really I think I've pretty much achieved what I wanted to and that is um, with the challenge uh, with use as many photos and, and I guess I could use more photos like I could have used a photo here but I didn't want it to get scratched from here because I've got these um, little things here on it so I didn't really want to get it scratched so uh, a photo there but I could have used more photos but look I could put more tags in there I, it's something I could think about doing because I've still got a heap more photos that I've, I've printed out so I could put some more smaller tags in there um, so yeah what do you think do you like it I, I liked it I, I thought it was really lovely actually uh, these the fussy cut I cut, fussy cut all these things out here see oh and I just put uh, stuck my finger in something that's wet I know I didn't realize that was wet pearl drops I have Centauria pearl drops in here that came from another kit from Aunty Vera I like it I really do join a challenge it's at Aunty Vera's scrap and craft is where you'll buy the kit from and look it doesn't have to be this kit I mean it'd be great if it was this kit um, but if it's not look just use what you've got okay and I'm going to put out a, a photo tutorial as well as the video tutorial um, to make this and um, go on to Crafty Vera and Friends load upload upload your um, pictures of what your project is and Honeyview's got tons of prizes this month so God join in please please come and join me uh, all the girls are going to put a challenge up but if you sort of join my group first if you well not so much first but if you join my group as in do you can do challenges of every single one but the more people that does this the more praise I'll get so help me out let any viewers say yay Donna go Donna go and um, come join me okay I will catch you soon hope you like it because I really do okay and just a last look and if you want to see any of these projects in real life well not so much for your life but on the video um, let me know and I'll show you these projects okay this I'm going to do a tutorial on and show you how I did these these are gorgeous and doesn't that look a little scrumptious that was for a um, uh, I think it was Valentine's actually and my granddaughter put this together for me so she's very talented I ate it but she put it together so look have a look if you like anything and that all the flowers I actually made one day that's when I had my back surgery I think it was anyway hope you liked it I will talk to you soon okay bye